So I've recently received a request via YouTube comment to interview an ex-investment banker, an ex-investment banking analyst. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get good insight from someone that is not me. Unfortunately, while you're in banking, all your friends are bankers because bankers like hanging out with bankers and it's a lot easier to relate to things, relate to people that have same similar experiences. But after you become an ex-investment banker, it seems like the ex-investment banking community, the ex-investment banking analyst community is not as tight-knit as the investment banking community. So unfortunately, I had to resort to the only ex-investment banking person that is willing to stoop down and bless our channel, bless this channel with their presence and knowledge, myself. So without further ado, let's please welcome the coolest ex-investment banking analyst I know, Brian Judd. Yeah, um, honestly, thanks for having me on the show. I love talking about my experiences. I actually have a YouTube channel covering that just because my ego is so big and I really like talking about myself and I feel like the rest of the world really wants to hear about my life and my career. So be sure to check that out. Brian, thanks for joining. Uh, I really appreciate you spending the time, especially I'm sure you're still busy even after you've exited banking to come on this very humble channel and share your wisdom. I think as with all banking related talks, please briefly introduce yourself, tell us your story, who you are, a brief background, what you've done so far, where you are now and what you are doing currently. Um, name is Brian John, I entered banking June of 2019 and exited a couple of months ago in January, February of 2021. Worked for a middle market bank, focused on M&A, was in the business services group. Um, had a great time, based in Chicago. Thought that finance wasn't the route for me long term. Wasn't necessarily about the hours or the work culture per se, but more about finance as a whole, at least for the time being. And now I work for a startup uh, in LA. For more of an academic background, I went to a small liberal arts school in Virginia that no one's heard of, but it is kind of a target school and that made the recruiting process a bit easier. Um, and they really like to put banking at the forefront of career experiences. Now that there's a giant EX in front of your role title and you're an ex investment banker as opposed to a current investment banker, which definitely makes you slightly more lame. Can you let us know why you exited banking even with the understanding that doing so would make you a lamer, not as relevant, not as prestigious, not as rich individual? Yeah, I'd love to go into detail about why I left banking, but there's actually a video that covers that that actually did very well. Um, I think it's like over 60K views. Definitely boosted my ego a little bit. So go check that out. Um, long story short, I just said it, but I think finance was something that I wasn't particularly interested in the long run. I think there were bigger career goals that I wanted to achieve earlier on that wasn't directly aligned with banking. Obviously there are work hours related stuff and wanting a work-life balance. And also I think location, having an opportunity back home in LA was particularly a big factor. But yeah, be sure to go check the video out. I think that's it does a good job of explaining why I left banking. Now we're gonna take some questions from the audience. A lot of questions that I personally have been dodging or saying, oh, that's a great idea, but I end up never answering myself. Uh, to start things off, what is your career end game? That's actually a thing that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Like, what is my career end game? Why am I doing any of the things that I'm doing for? I think it's very important to maximize what you're good at without being distracted by what other people are good at and wanting to be good at those things. I think every single person has that one thing that no one can do better than them. I'm really trying to figure what that is out. I was gonna say I'm kind of good at talking, but I just butchered what I'm about to say. But basically, I think I'm someone that can really condense a variety of information and convey it to an audience in an effective and efficient manner. And I enjoy mentoring. I like talking to people, I like meeting new people. I don't know what that becomes as a career. I don't know if there's an end game for that. I also care about the world and there are certain aspects of me that cares about community service and making the world a better place, as cliche as it sounds. But I think at the same time, a job is a job. Everyone wants to make the world a better place, hopefully. So I don't know what that juxtaposes to, but right now I am expressing it through this YouTube channel, through the consulting service that I launched, 
through the live streams that I'm going to do. Is it true that you are never a PE or a hedge fund or quant expert and this new job was the only thing you can get? But you're still funny though. Yeah, I guess I was just never good or cool enough for those big name finance things, but I was good enough for the current role, hopefully. I'm glad I'm still funny though. I think that's probably the most important part of that comment. I don't know if being funny is any relevant to these roles that I couldn't get, but still funny. Are you a scammer who was part of a low tier, third tier investment bank and never material for a buy side exit and now you're lying about joining a startup? Ha 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 ha. Um, I don't think I'm a scammer. I don't think I've ever lied about anything on this channel or tried to sell something that is not legitimate. Third tier investment banking firm, well, every single bank says that they're ranked number one in some kind of ranking, so it depends how you look at it. Never material for buy side exit. That's a little harsh. Ha 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 ha. Right back at you. And yep, I am now saying I joined a startup. I wanted to know that you made a good video. I'm kind of motivated by it. I invested in cryptocurrency and it's favorable to me. Yeah, no, thanks. I'm really glad my video is kind of motivating you. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys spamming my videos about cryptocurrency and raising my comment count, even though all the comments say the same thing. I don't know much about cryptocurrency. I don't think most people know much about cryptocurrency. And right now, it, I feel like the investment is serving more as a stock slash speculation gambling vehicle rather than the currency it's supposed to be. But that's also based off nothing and I know very little about it. Like you and I, I've watched a couple of Vice videos on it. I've watched the memes on Doge. I've watched people talk about Elon tweeting about it. But aside from that, I don't know much. Why is it that you speak so much? Can you just provide a summary at the end? I think I'm just generally a talker and through YouTube, I've been getting a lot better at being more concise, but I still tend to ramble on. In summary, I think I'm super bored and YouTube is a way of expressing myself. I don't really only wanna talk about serious things anymore. So this was my one go at it and hopefully some people like it. And now that it's kind of awkward, I think I'm gonna end with an Obama impression. Uh, go like and subscribe to Brian's channel. Brian, I just wanna say thanks for your time. I know it really takes a lot to come on the channel and talk about your experiences. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Happy to be on any time. Maybe we can turn this into a series and just have you interview me over and over again and not scare people off by thinking that I'm insane. <laughs> Maybe I'm going insane. As always, thanks guys for watching. I am continuing to do these 30 minute sessions where I talk one-on-one -on -one and provide career consulting or life advice. Sign up using the link below. A little overwhelmed by the amount of people that have signed up, but it's been great so far. I think people are getting, hopefully, a lot about it. I'm getting a lot out of it just by talking to people and learning about their experiences. I'm also live streaming every Wednesday. I had one last week and will continue to do so moving forward. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go.